So, Greg, when we were talking, you said nine out of ten landlords really don't realize that there are three simple ways to make extra money with investment properties. Yes, and it's not Bitcoin. Do explain. <laughs> yeah, we'll be talking about that next segment. Do explain. All right, the first one, the easiest way to make some additional money on your rental property without virtually doing anything is to accept pets. And now let me elaborate. Most landlords that we come across, we deal with hundreds, do not accept pets. Mm -hmm. But most tenants have pets. Sure do. So there you go. There's an opportunity if you just look at it. Mm -hmm. Okay? So what we do is suggest that you charge a pet rent mm -hmm. instead of a pet deposit. I'll elaborate. A pet rent would be, say, $25 per pet per month forever. Mm -hmm. So if somebody has two cats, you charge them an extra 50 bucks, and say they stay for five years, you just made $3,000 in rent. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay? Makes sense. Some landlords want to take a $300 pet deposit. Yeah. Which is foolish because it's finite in nature, mm -hmm. and you have to refund that at the end of the term, assuming everything's in good order. Makes sense. Second thing is laundry. Okay, we all wear clothes. We need to wash them, some of us. And <laughs> we need to offer our tenants that ability. They need to feel like they're at home. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, you're going to get about $30 per unit in laundry revenue per month. Nice. That's yeah. what we see. We collect a lot of quarters. Yeah. Thousands, tens and thousands of quarters every month we collect. So that's our data. That's accurate. You can expect about thirty dollars per unit. So that's hundred and twenty bucks if you have a four family. Yeah. In extra income. Per month. Per month. Okay. That adds up. And people yeah. are saying, well, laundry machines are expensive. That's what I'm thinking the math. How how much they are, where's the break even? They are expensive. It's about fifteen hundred bucks for a new pair. Your break even point, you know, it'd probably be about a year or so. But those are going to last you a long time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I've seen machines that are so old, they're still cranking 20, 30 years. I believe it. Third thing, follow up on the laundry is to offer a change machine. Okay? Mm. So all my properties have change machines. They accept dollar and five dollar bills. Smart. Don't do the cheap one and get the dollar only machine. Get the one and the five dollar. It's a little more expensive. It's about mm -hmm. 400 bucks. But it increases the amount of times people do laundry by about 60%. Wow. So instead of 30 bucks per unit, I'm getting close to 50. Wow. That's awesome. And less coin rolling because right. literally you just take the coin. Swap coins, it. Swap it. Take and then, the dollars yes. or the $5. Yes. So that is the key. And people say, oh, well, somebody's going to steal the machine. Wow. All right, I got the answer. I got all the answers. <laughs> <laughs> There's two options. We have a, uh, a fake blinking camera that you can put in the laundry room yeah it's about 10 bucks it's a deterrent psychologically or and you can do both a sticker on the dryer and a sticker on the washer that says smile you're on camera love it so even if you don't have the camera the tenant's going to be like well where's they the think camera they do.